Have you guys ever wanted to paint a classic car in your garage and just don't have the room for a permanent paint booth and honestly don't know what you're going to do with all the overspray in the air once you start painting? Well, I got a solution for you because I just built a paint booth that sets up in less than a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so once again, this build was done in spring. Hey, Doc? Doc! He's uh, firing up the DeLorean right now. I got garbage in the can you can throw in the Mr. Fusion. All right, I'll uh, see you guys in the past. All right, so the ceiling's all done. This piece of wood is gonna be attached to the ceiling. The PVC is gonna create the lower frame. Then I will take some of this rope and some of these pulleys, and the plan is to basically have a pulley system. So I can break this thing down and put it up in under five minutes. So what I did is I stapled the rat to this piece of wood. Yeah, once I staple this together, you see my fingers there? That will be nice and tight. All right, so this is where I ended off yesterday. I got this whole wall done in that corner. So what I got left is this piece and then that whole section. So unless I overcomplicate things like I always do, this has a chance of being done today. Me and my ideas. Very close. This wall's done. Last wall. So I set up these pulley systems. There's the first one, and I'm actually gonna move that one over. There's the next one. And then it basically goes all the way. And that's obviously not done over there, by the way. And it's gonna come down here, somewhere in this area, and it will basically be attached. I might run like a huge pulley. So here's basically the concept. This is the way I attach the wrap to the PVC. Then I pulled it tight and wrapped it. And that's basically the wall right there. Look how nicely this one rolled up. So what happens when you don't have a corner, it actually rolls up. So if you guys were building something like this and only needed one wall, it's gonna roll up real nice compared to, uh, you know, the curtain style effect I got going over here. There's my inlet for the shop. Paint booth. There's the paint booth. There's the freshly painted hood. This thing goes off in about a minute, not even 30 seconds. Takes about five seconds a wall. I'm at like 98%, but I needed to get this hood done. So there's a couple things I still gotta finish. So here's the setup and breakdown of this booth. So this is basically what the rope looks like in storage mode. It's just wrapped around two hangers. Once the rope gets to the ceiling, it goes through a hoop. Once I get to the halfway point, I undo the Velcro that's holding the end together. Now I can continue dropping this down. Once this wall is down, I take a piece of PVC piping and I insert it into an elbow at the bottom of this frame. The rope for the smaller wall is attached in a similar fashion. Once again, I use another hoop at the ceiling. This rope goes two different ways. It goes to the smaller wall, but also a miniature wall that goes against the garage door. So I drop the small wall first. Once again, I stop halfway down to remove the Velcro that's wrapped around the end. I have another elbow at the bottom of this frame. The next step is I open my door and insert my filter element. This piece is made out of half inch foam board that I cut and inserted house filters into. This is my air inlet. Now I'm ready to drop down the mini wall. 
Now it's time to lift up the door and insert our foam and outlet side fans. Obviously I have a little bit more work left in this area just to get this a little bit more airtight. At this point I take the access wrap from the walls and feed them through the crack in the door. I attach these two C-clamps for the next step. And lastly, I install two of these on each side. So here's the paint booth in all of its glory. As far as these lights go, this is temporary. I'm creating a box that I can put LEDs into and those will mount on the other side of that tarp. 